All right, I'm getting ready to make the uh, model for the arc. <laughs> think, think for a second. Oh my God. And I'm not gonna take measurements. I'm just gonna do a kind of a slap it together type thing. I know the general proportions about 580 feet or 30 feet long by about 80 feet wide by about 30 feet tall, I think. Or was it 30 feet wide and 80 feet tall? I don't know. It's, uh, it's a big boat. And I gotta figure out how to do this without screwing it up. Anyway, I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. Gonna make the bow. So as you can see, I've got him positioned here with this uh, boat and I'm going to keep working on it and see what I can come up with. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot that my camera was aimed at him and not what I was working on. Oh, geez, I'm telling you. Yep. Uh, my brain was actually connected to my body. I'd be dangerous. What I'm doing is I'm flattening out the uh, backbone of the uh, boat. I can't think of what they call it now. The uh, what is it called? I was, on a, I was on an aircraft carrier for two years, and I can't think of the name of the. Well, anyway. Everything that he would design, that would go into the design of the piece, or the boat, would be to make it ride into the waves instead of against them. Or, I mean, sideways to them. And uh, the beam, I guess that's what it's called. The main support of the whole boat would have to be monstrous in size. I'm using a, a tool that's used for burnishing gold leaf on, on uh, artwork. It seems to work okay with the uh, clay. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna have him looking at it. Whoop, there goes the boat. Ah, there goes my knife. As I've said before, gravity is something you learn a lot about when you're working in an art studio because everything has a tendency to go to the floor. Ugh. The law of nature. Gravity. Okay, I'm going to 
push this arm back maybe have him putting his hand on the uh, the arc Like I said, he's going to be stroking his beard, thinking about what he's going to be doing here. I'm trying to create a story is what I'm trying to do. Whether I'm successful at it is a whole different story. All right. I'm going to try to make a roof. This is all new to me. I've never made a boat before. I've certainly never made an arc. Well, it's looking pretty good. I just have to figure out how to do this and make it work. I think it had four levels on the arc. I think that's what uh, he was told to do. And uh, from the uh, the one door, there would was to be a ramp going up to each level. Now I've been trying to think where his living quarters would be. Because they would have to have a place where they could live and uh, have some peace of mind by themselves. And I would think the center of the uh, boat would be it. Because when a ship is uh, on the ocean if it, if it goes like this the best place to be is in the center because if you're in the ends you're dropping much further and raising up much further than you would in the center and you want to keep the boat or the ship or the ark aimed into the waves if you have them against the waves, the boat would rock this way and eventually would pop, fall over. And I would think they had a some kind of wind catcher that would act as a kind of like a weather vane to keep the, the boat in into the into the waves. And I'm thinking there might be a fin back here. That would be raised up to uh, act as a kind of like a, the end of a weather vane with the uh, arrow. You know how what a weather vane looks like. The there's a wide piece of flat metal at the back of the uh, weather vane that keeps it aimed into the wind, and that's what I'm thinking they would have done with uh, this, and that's what I'm going to incorporate on here. Oh, that looks pretty good. A little rough, but gives any idea. The reason I'm doing the arc now instead of uh, later is because I got to do his clothing and stuff, and I'm going to have to have the arc done before uh, I do that. That looks pretty good. All right, now to design the fin in the back. Now, I'm not, there's nothing that says there was one, but it was a design that was uh, different from anything that had been created before by man. And so I would think the uh, Lord would give him an idea for the uh, 
plans inspire him in other words this is kind of what I'm thinking and see this back fin could have been hollow could have been a structure that he could climb up into and open a window way up here to look out for any land that might start showing up. And it would also be a great place to let a uh, dove take off. That's just my thinking. That's, there's nothing to back up my thinking. It's just my thinking. It has kind of an ancient look to it too, which is kind of cool. I'm going to stick with it, this design. All right, I'm going to paint this to look like the clay. And uh, I do this with all my pieces that I make extra copies uh, with uh, some other material. Just so that there's no confusion when people look at my clay. And they wonder what the heck that is. The blue thing. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and paint this, and I'll be right back. As far as the design of the uh, Ark, uh, the one in Kentucky, they had actual nautical engineers uh, work on the uh, design of that, and uh, that's the design they came up with that would, you know, with unmotorized and unsails, no sails, and uh, trying to keep it in to the wave instead of a, against the wave uh, that's the design they came up with and it makes sense to me so that's why I sort of made the same kind of decision on my rendition of the arc all right while well, I'm waiting for the uh, art to dry so I can paint the other half I'll uh, get to work on this guy what I'm thinking of doing is having some kind of drapery over his head not covering his you know head uh, kind of like halfway across his back of his head and dra drape down across the front of his body And uh, not sure what kind of clothing I'm going to put on them yet because I don't know what they wore back 6,000 years ago. It helps to put the ears on because it kind of rounds out the face a little bit. And I'm going to put his hand up here like he's stroking his beard thinking about what he's put together. I think it's going to be interesting. This is going to be an interesting project. For sure. I wanted to angle that uh, boat that it, so it looks good from every angle putting it at a slight different angle than straight across his lap gives me uh, views that uh, works out well from every angle. That's something you have to work out in sculpture. You have to be able to work out the design so it looks good from every angle. All right, everybody, that's going to be it tonight, and I'll uh, be here tomorrow, and... Uh, Getting back on this uh, clay. All right, everybody. Good night. Noah the Builder. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that 
could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.